Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, thankful to be with you for a couple of minutes today. We're in Malachi chapter 3, so if you do have your Bibles, you can open up to Malachi chapter 3. We just have a few more devotions in this small but mighty prophetic book. So um, go ahead and turn to, if you don't know where Malachi is at, you can turn to Matthew, which is the beginning of your New Testament, and it's the book in our English Bible right before Matthew. This is a great verse. You know, it really ministered to me a long time ago, and um, it still does today. I think you'll be blessed by it. The Bible says in verse 16 of Malachi chapter 3, Then those who feared the Lord spoke with one another. The Lord paid attention and heard them, and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who feared the Lord and esteemed his name. So, you know, um, Malachi, like I've mentioned to you, is writing about a hundred years after the exile in Babylon. And, um, and you know, it's, it's kind of a tough story because we always hope the best for people and you're hoping the best for Israel. And, you know, we, we all want to learn our lessons and sometimes we don't, you know, sometimes we unfortunately end up in the same place. And, and there's this, just this heart of God, you know, this beautiful heart of God to, to draw us back always knocking on the door of our hearts, always looking to um, restore us in the midst of our own waywardness and confusion. And, and so, you know, these uh, minor prophets begin oftentimes with challenging words, you know, wake up call, God calling his people to see things for what they are with the intention not to hurt them or condemn them or blow them up, but to like I, like I was saying, pull them back, you know, lead them to repentance, restore their relationship, and then ultimately bless them. And so this, that's exactly what you get in a lot of these minor prophets. We'll be in Joel next in a, a couple of uh, days. It's the same pattern, you know, and there's just this blessing here in these verses, you know, as God's worked through the process of wake up call, uh, stirred to lead them to repentance, what real repentance is, and then the blessing of God that comes and the blessing of God is this little story, right? That's implanted by God through the prophet. This little picture, I don't believe it's, you know, um, a parable that isn't real. I think it actually is real. I think God does do this, that there is a book of remembrance that for those who fear God, right? That's the, the key word, it's mentioned twice, fear the Lord. When we speak to each other, for those of us who have a real, living, vibrant relationship with God, where he is honored in our life and esteemed in our life, and um, that, that we walk with a constant awareness of his presence, and we are striving in the best sense, in the fullness, in the fullness of all that he's placed within our lives, the, the filling of the Holy Spirit, the new creations that we are in Christ, the eternal plan of God that he's mapped out for us, the, the sovereignty that he demonstrates in, in our lives on a daily basis. As we live to that and as we speak with one another, um, there's a record. It's so pleasing to God, right? It's so pleasing to God. And that's what the scripture says here, that it is pleasing to him that he is writing down. It's like a, he's treasuring those words that are spoken amongst us that, that are mutually edifying, you know, but then are also um, honoring and glorifying to him. That's how much uh, the content of our conversation with brothers and sisters matter matters. That's how much it matters. It matters so much that heaven hears the words that we speak and God writes in a book of remembrance those things that we share with one another. And, and I don't know about you, but I think about that and it really puts me um, in check as to how I want to speak to brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Um, because, you know, a lot of times we take our conversation for granted. A lot of times we can find ourselves um, speaking words that are less than edifying, not altogether uplifting, um, sometimes, you know, just straight from the flesh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And, you know, we don't want that as an eternal record, you know, for 
um, for God to read, you know, f- throughout the coming ages. Uh, you know, it's, it's just so important for us to remember that the things that we do in the finite moments of this life have an everlasting impact. And so, you know, make sure, and I'm, I'm thinking about this for myself too, but as you walk through your day and as you think about your correspondence with fellow Christians and whether that's face-to-face talk or whether that's social media or that's how you text, man, put a pause on it next time you're about to um, rip off a text that's, you know, not altogether uplifting. Put a pause on it next time you feel like you need to say something to get even or to make your point with a brother or sister. You know, hit pause when you're tempted to talk about another Christian behind their back and um, be wise enough to know when you're self-justifying and putting it under the banner of prayer or trying to help them out when the reality is that, you know, your flesh, flesh is just feeding off of an opportunity to lift yourself up by putting somebody else down. Be committed today. Be committed today, you know, to speak those things that bring grace to the hearer and bring glory and, God, and honor to God forever as he writes those words down in a book. And Father, we thank you today that we have your word to remind us of the words that will be written in the book of remembrance and help us, Father, today to communicate with each other in a way that really does bring blessings, God, that that the words that we we speak would bring life and not death, that they would bring hope and not doubt, that they would bring faith and not fear. And in all of it, God, you would be pleased in Jesus' name. Amen. Have an awesome day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.